my grade 11s, today we are going to do an introduction to networks and network technology. So let's have a look at what a network actually is. Okay, it is a system of two or more computers or other devices that are connected together via a communication channel so that the devices can communicate and exchange data. Now, grade 11s, you have two types of networks. You have a cabled network and you have a wireless network. Let's go and have a look at the two types of network. This was covered in grade 10, so this is just a quick revision. A local area network, which is your LAN, covers a small area within a room or a building or related buildings on the same campus, and they are connected via a cable. Your wireless area network covers the same area as the LAN, but connects devices wirelessly. Let's look at the purpose of a network. It is to share data and resources. It provides a connection between computing resources. It creates a safe working environment to store and retrieve your data. You can share devices like printers, and it's a very, very good communication tool. Now, the basic components of a network, just to revise what you learned in grade 10, are workstations, servers, communication medium, network interface cards, network devices, and network software. So let's go and compare a wireless local area network and a local area network. Let's look at the LAN first. It's easy to install whereas the wireless LAN is slightly more complicated. You have better security on a wired LAN than you have on a wireless LAN. The connections on a LAN are more reliable, whereas when you are working with a wireless LAN, sometimes the um, connections can be lost. The speed in a LAN depends on the cable, and your speed in your wireless network depends on how much traffic there is in the network. In other words, how many people are on the network at the same time. It is cheaper to install a LAN. It's more expensive to install a wireless LAN. Um, in a LAN, you need a physical connection point where you want to connect a device to a network, whereas in a wireless LAN, there is no physical connection, and um, you can basically connect anywhere within the radius of your wireless LAN. Okay, let's look a little bit more at the communications mediums. Um, it's there to transfer data and information between devices. So you have cabled and you have wireless. And then what big companies do grade 11s is they install an intranet within their company. It's slightly different to an internet, whereas the internet you have global access and an intranet is only accessible within the company. So it is a private network that uses the same components as the internet. It's found within an organization and it is only available to the employees. Although employees can access the intranet from outside of the building, like from home, with usernames and passwords. What would the purpose of an intranet be? It can create forums that can be used as a platform for discussions between employees. You can have access to internal email. Employees can collaborate on one project using shared files. And it is time and cost effective. Now, with an internet and an intranet and a network, you obviously need security because networks are quite vulnerable. Um, so, and so is the information on them. So you need to keep the data secure. And how do we do that? We have access control for users, and we need to prevent any threats that can be made on your network. Let's look at access control. First of all, we need usernames and passwords. So to access the information on the intranet or on the network, each user is given access only to the files and folders needed for their positions. And more safety and security that you can do is that you can keep your servers locked in separate rooms, you can update the security rights, and you can use a firewall. Now, what is a firewall, grade 11s? 
It is a combination of hardware and software that will prevent unauthorized access to or from the network. And that, grade 11s, brings us to the end of our very short introduction to networks. Until I see you next time.